hello everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm going to show you how you can create an online store like this your customers can view your website and they can go to the store area and from here they can select any product they like for example this and on the product page they can view all products details they can add it to the cart and finally complete the checkout process you know they can fill their details their address and uh, right now you cannot see the payment option but um, they can complete the payment online if as well they can opt for local pickup and this store will have every functions that is required for an online e-commerce store you can print invoices manage inventory print shipping labels send order details to your customers and everything that is required for an online e-commerce store so let's learn how to do this first thing we need is a basic website like this this website is built on wordpress and do not worry if you are a beginner and have never created a website um, this video is the third video of the series how to create a website and i will put the playlist link in the description from there you can watch this first video and learn how to create the basic website we need so in this tutorial you can learn from scratch how to do everything and all the parts of the video have been time stamped so you can directly watch the parts you need and skip the parts you do not okay so after watching this video you will be able to create this website and uh, once you have created this basic this will be our foundation for our e-commerce store and on top of this we will build this online store okay so uh, just first create this website and then uh, learn how to create this into an e-commerce store or online store okay so first thing we need to do is log into the dashboard area basically this is the back end of this website um, you can watch the first video to learn how to uh, access this area so here first thing we are going to do is create a backup of our website so in case anything goes wrong um, we can restore it to this uh, state so for this go to plugins from here go to add new and we are going to use a free plugin call, called Updraft. Okay, so you can see I have already installed this plugin. So you have to just click on here like this. If the plugin is not installed, you will see option like this, install now. So just install now and activate. And then here in settings, um, you will see this Updraft plus backup option. From here, just click on this backup now like you can see I have, before creating this tutorial i have created some backups so if anything goes wrong or i want to restore it to a previous state the, i can do that okay so um, just create the backup it's really simple just press this button and the backup will be created within few seconds so after this let's um, go to appearance from here go to theme and then click on add new and then here in the search bar search for called astro okay and you will see this thing so just click on install and then click on activate okay uh, then on the left side by you will see a new option called astro options just click on it and on this page here select uh, click on install importer plugin so we will use elementor page builder okay so from here you can see all the starter templates available with this theme astra so from here in here you can filter the free theme and the paid themes so we will select free and then select e-commerce here so you can see these are the options available that you can use completely for free and you do not have to pay anything for this so let's select this first one so let's click and then you can see uh, which what pages are available with this theme so there are three pages available and before install importing this theme you can also preview how your website will look like after um, you import this plugin okay if you are satisfied with the preview um, just click on import complete site so if you are creating a e-commerce store completely from scratch 
um, you just need to select these options and uh, and you do not need to select the first option so remember if without creating backup you select this option it will delete all your website content so make sure to backup first and then click on import so here click on skip so this will take few seconds and it will install and activate all the necessary plugins so just wait for a few seconds till the importing process is complete sorry about the interruption but uh, importing that particular theme had some issue so i decided to import a different theme and basically the process is simple same and after the import is complete you will see a prompt like this and now let's view how our website looks let's click here and you can see this is how our website looks right now so this is the main image and these are the products on our store and uh, okay so you can select any product from here and you can view its complete details you can add it to cart there's a description product description here this is the long description you can you also have reviews functionality and then um, you can go view your cart and from here you can apply coupon codes and then proceed to checkout here you will have to fill your details and after setting the payment method this will start working okay so um, now let's again visit the home page and everything you see here can be edited so uh, for this um, i've already explained all these things uh, the designing process in detail in the second video here in the playlist so i would recommend you to watch that video again everything is timestamped so you can just um, watch the import uh, important parts which you want and uh, so i will give you a quick overview so you will have to click on this option edit with elementor so elementor is a page website builder it allows you to edit everything with simple drag and drop function so these are the basic blocks which you can drag and drop and edit your website and uh, everything that is currently on the website can be edited using this uh, just click on this pencil icon and on the left side bar here you can edit it to anything so this is how you can edit everything uh, on this page you can replace those um, images you can add your own sections and uh, to watch, so i would recommend you to go watch this video in detail so you can learn about that process in detail okay so now let's focus on the e-commerce store online store part in this video and let's go back to the dashboard here wordpress dashboard so from dashboard go to woocommerce and from here go to settings so let's first uh, set up our store settings and from here first you will have to uh, fill your details for example one two three um, okay then fill your city name here like you can fill new york okay, then select your country and from here you will have to select the state We'll just select anything just for the example but you will have to select the correct one and then fill your pin code and then um, here in general option you will have to selling locations so here you will have to set uh, locations where you are pro selling your product so if you are selling to a specific country so you can uh, like this sell to all countries except except for this or uh, sell to specific countries for example you are selling only in united states so you can fill here and then um, shipping locations so so this will allow you to set where you are shipping your products to so ship to specific countries again i will select us only and uh, so default just leave it at default and um, if you uh, if you want to charge calculate taxes rates and calculation you can take this option and allow using coupon codes and then here in the currency option let's change it to usd and from currency position is left it's fine and then save changes okay, and then go to products and from here just um, you can change the measurements you want um, just leave this thing at default um, if you want to change it to pound or something um, you can change it and same with the dimension unit and you can set if you want to allow reviews and who can review your products if only verified customers can review 
then you can allow this option okay so then click on again save changes and then let's go to tax tab from here you can uh, fill the tax rates applicable as per your location so i will not go into it right now then go to the shipping so this is a very important thing to do um you'll have to click on add shipping zone and from here you can name your zone here like there are different type of shippings uh, options available so like you can set like local pickup okay and then from here you can set the location where you are selling it to and then you can add shipping method you can add flat rate free shipping local pickup so i have sh uh, created a detailed video about this shipping method thing so um, you will have to watch this playlist and this is the video uh, free shipping woocommerce so i will also put this playlist link in the description so i would recommend you to check this playlist as well so everything i will show you is explained basically in complete detail uh, topic wise so uh, you know just watch these videos so this is how you set up the shipping thing and then go to payments so from here um, you can set paypal or if you can also use stripe for accepting cards so just enable it and then you will have to fill the set go to setup and then here you will have to enter your paypal email address and then you will have to scroll down and click on save changes and you can accept payment through paypal and then go to accounts and privacy so again this is um, so you can go through the settings and decide which settings you want to enable because it will be location specific so if some laws require you to delete customer data or retain your customer data only till specific dates so only till specific time limits so uh, depending on that you can uh, customize these settings and then go to emails so from here you can see um, so if there's a new order you'll get a notification at your email id so depending on the order status um, the customers will get email id uh, or you will get okay so you can also manage here click on manage to change the message basically so uh, i would recommend you to just keep it at default but if you want you can uh, edit the content here and that's it okay so now let's go to advance from here i would recommend you to usually just do not really change these things and okay, so after you have done complete setting up the woocommerce now let's go to products and see how you can add products to your website first let's see the existing products on our website so you can see these are all the existing products and um, if you want to remove all just click them here and then go to bulk action click on move to trash and then click on apply okay so right now i'm not just doing i'm not doing it so let's learn how to add a new product okay click on add new from here this will be your product name it is basically self-explanatory so like it can be a t-shirt then you add a, a product description this is a white t-shirt okay this will be the long description and then um, here in the simple, keep it simple product so you can see there are different type of products available i will just show you how it works and to understand in detail you will have to watch the video from the playlist so this is the video you can learn how you what different type of products you can list on your website and how settings for each product type will work so just watch this video and you will know everything so and you will learn everything so after this um let's say we want to create a simple product from here this will be the product description like uh, this is a very comfortable t-shirt and then we will we can create a new category for t-shirt and click on add new and then product tags click on add then set a product image so here go here i will just set, select a random image okay just to show you select this and then click on set 
and that's it and then just click on this publish button and you will see how easy it is to add a product to your website so it has been added and this is the permalink so now let's visit and you see you can see so this is the product name this is the short description and this is the long description and this is the review system okay so this is how it works so similarly you can add categories and you can also delete them and uh, so if you are creating a new website so you would like to uh, delete all the old data so again you can just select them and bulk delete them so that's how simple it is to manage the store now let's see how the coupon options work so go to woocommerce here go to coupons and uh, here you you can see this create coupon option just click on create coupon uh, let's create our first coupon code um, 50 off okay and then here we can give fixed discount or percentage discount so let's say fixed uh, product discount let's give it 50 dollar off and then uh, just click on publish so now there are various functions um, now you can customize this coupon code and again uh, i've created a tuto detailed tutorial in this playlist this is the video you need to watch so yeah so now let's look, see how it works just um, copy this code so now you can see there's the paypal options available okay so if a customer wants to pay they can click on this paypal option which was not uh, visible earlier so this there is a, a coupon code option let's put the coupon code here then click on apply coupon and coupon code has been applied and you can see the 40 dollars have been removed the coupon code wa was worth 50 dollars but because the product price is $40 only, so it has removed the total. Uh, so it has removed maximum $40 from the product price and now total is zero. So basically this is how it works. And um, to learn everything in detail, you can watch my full WooCommerce tutorial playlist. And um, that's it guys for this video.